These car top bows that we started bending last week are inch and a half square. Well, on two of the bows, we need to take off these corners off of the inch and a half. And what we want to do is leave these two center pieces that will be on a diagonal. So this is the original bow, one of the original bows, and you can see how the angle is set so that through the center of this inch and a half bow, we have a one inch diagonal slat, if this makes sense. So this is what we need to incorporate into the new bows. I bend them at an inch and a half square. Now I'm gonna put this bevel angle to the top of two of these bows.
Now this middle bow is the one that has the fold too much in one spot. And this is one I'm going to reject. I just thought I'd show you how it compares to the other good bows. So this second bow I'm going to taper to the opposite direction that I did the first bow. Well this completes the two bows that match. Now the third bow, remember, has a little different arch in the corner. So I'm going to modify the form so I can do the third bow.
Well, this about completes the new bows for the Stevens Duria car. I'm going to leave the tail ends of these so that they can be matched to the irons of the car themselves. So I appreciate watching. This was kind of a difficult bend. But now I need to bend some bows for 1927 Franklin. And that's what we're going to do next. Now in this bend, I'm going to bend two bows that are different lengths, but the same arch. Therefore, I'm going to shim down in the same band for the two different lengths of bows.
Well, these bows for the 27 Franklin were quite a little easier to bend since they were only one inch thick compared to the Stevens that was at an inch and a half. But both of them are plenty bendable. Now many have asked why I use kiln dried. Well up here in Montana we don't have access to a lot of green fresh ash that is sizable enough for milling. So I'm kind of stuck with having to use kiln dried. There's a myth out there that kiln dried can't be bent, but that is not so. With the proper treatment, it'll bend. Once again, thanks for watching.